very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Y254 channel. This is Y in the morning. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barry Moses. And now we know that you can use your hands and learn some skills and make some money out of it. What you have been watching is 254 Dandies. Courtesy of the guest I have with me in studio, the Story Cinema founder himself, Jay Bezodiambo. But if you do want to participate in the conversation, make sure apparently Twitter you find us at Y254 channel. The hashtag is why in the morning on facebook we're at y254 on instagram we're at y254 underscore channel and on youtube just in case you miss any of the valuable insights we're at y254 channel anyway with me in studio i have jabez or the mm. and last week last week it was last week i learned that somebody who has so many side hustles is called a serial entrepreneur so jabez i will allow you to introduce yourself so that i don't just say one thing you can say all the many things that you do Hi, mm -hmm. my name is Jabez. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, I'm Hippie Bandit. Mm -hmm. I'm usually known for doing photography and video, mm -hmm. but people also don't know that I sell thrift clothes on the side. Mm -hmm. And I also, what else do I do? <laughs> I also customize jackets, leather mm -hmm. jackets, like the one I'm wearing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Jabez, we'd like to understand your story. Um, you, are an, you are actually an employee somewhere. So um, you work for somebody at the same time you have your side hustles. And where you work is at uh, Genesis Design Factory as a video editor. So can I understand your background? What did you study? Because even your side hustles relate a lot to what you are doing currently under employment. Can I go a little bit backwards a yes. bit? Yes. I mean, we all wanted to be pilots a while back. Oh. That's what <laughs> I wanted to do. Uh -huh. I think I was mesmerized by the buildings and all that. Mm -hmm. But then... We went to high school, everything changed. Mm -hmm. At a time, we wanted to be graphic designers. Mm -hmm. I remember I wanted to be a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. But then my brother told me, mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. the fashion industry right now isn't like New York. You won't get your money, right? Mm -hmm. So he advised me to go to a film school, mm -hmm. which was a DMI. It's a mm -hmm. very nice school. Mm -hmm. So from film school, that was around 2016. Mm -hmm. I haven't graduated yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I went 2017, got my internship, mm -hmm. and uh, during that period, 2017, I was lucky mm -hmm. to be employed at a very nice company called mm -hmm. GDF. Mm -hmm. And uh, truth be told, we young creatives, mm -hmm. it's very hard to get good money. Let me put it that way, to, good, to get good money. And usually guys don't look at us like we are professionals. Yes. So... You need to do something on the side mm -hmm. that you really love. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't just let my love for fashion just fade away. Mm -hmm. So I, I decided what I'll do, mm -hmm. I'll go to Gikomba. Mm -hmm. Clothes are quite cheap around there. Yes, especially at the right hour in the morning. Yes, but mm -hmm. then there's this bracket of people in Kenya mm -hmm. who don't know about Gikomba. Yeah. And that's where we make money. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I decided that will be my side hustle. Mm -hmm. I also paint. I started painting this year. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, that's what I do. All right, so let me understand. Where you are employed, how many hours are you supposed to work in a day? Eight hours. Like Eight a, hours. So where do you find the time to, 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 to do some of your side hustles? Because 254 Dandies is your, is your production. Where do you find the time and how do you balance? Well, you find for video projects and photography, mm -hmm. I usually plan let's say at the end of every month mm -hmm. at, le at least i produce content either it's photography or video mm -hmm. so all this happens on weekends mm -hmm. let's say on a sunday mm -hmm. or a saturday then we can edit the video throughout the week at mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. and then maybe if you wake up at four mm -hmm. or four twenty mm -hmm. and you get some inspiration maybe you can start painting mm -hmm. yeah all right so you actually do maximize even the early, the wee hours of the morning at times Okay. Okay. I see. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to understand as a photographer, what qualities do you look for in a picture that make it good for you? Personally, I think photography is art, mm -hmm. and you can't say this is how art should be, mm -hmm. or you can't expect an explanation about art from someone. Mm -hmm. So everyone has his own style of shooting. Mm -hmm. Everyone has his own style of editing. Mm -hmm. And personally, I look for contrast. Mm -hmm. And I try also to mimic the old film mm 
-hmm. whereby we had grains and some of retro retro vibe to the image mm -hmm. yes yeah, so that's what i look for in a picture mm -hmm. but let's say like the standard standards are a picture should be well framed mm -hmm. unless it's for artistic value mm -hmm. which is explained mm -hmm. yeah and also there's you look for lines lines also are quite interesting on a photo lines yeah leading lines uh -huh. and some deep deep contrast contrast is good mm -hmm. yeah because i have some of your pictures over here I don't know if I can see. I can see the, the, the retro vibe coming through. Yeah. <laughs> can you see them, guys? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Tell us about this particular image. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this particular image. Why has it tickled you so much? Uh, because the model is a good friend of mine. He's called Brian Odipo. Mm hmm usually comes up with very crazy ideas mm -hmm. like crazy concepts mm -hmm. so it, sometimes he's, he'd call me be like yo i have this idea let's go try it mm -hmm. because uh, if you look at the image kind of looks uh, there's a guy posing with a flower mm -hmm. but if you look keenly there's art beneath it all right yeah all right let's move to the next one. Oh, i can see some ladies so it is inspired this image um the lady at the center mm -hmm. is a designer mm -hmm. so i decided to use that background to suit her needs mm -hmm. yeah she's called nyarnam mm -hmm. yeah so background is also a big deal for you yeah background is quite big okay let me ask you when you go to the field like now because i've seen you do a lot of outdoor shoots as well what is what is a must have for you as a photographer when you're going for an outdoor shoot <laughs> a 50 mm lens <laughs> a <laughs> what? A 50 mm lens. I uh -huh. know you shouldn't touch on this, but I do a lot of portraits. So, mm -hmm. a 50 mm, mm -hmm. a bottle of water, mm -hmm. and some good, some good vibe, you know, some mm -hmm. good music at least, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some good music. Yeah. Okay, when you decided you want to delve into photography, I, f supposing someone at home really wants to become a photographer and, and they don't know how to begin, what are the first tools every beginner must have from the most basic photographer there is? What would you say are the basic tools you can acquire or you should acquire? Like professionally or yes, if you want to start? professionally and if you want to start, if you want to start professionally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Develop interest. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh save up get a camera and start mm -hmm. shooting mm -hmm. and keep on shooting you don't have to get a professional camera you can start with your phone mm -hmm. yeah so you can be hiring mm -hmm. or, or create contact with someone who has a camera mm -hmm. yeah so we would like to understand what is the first kind of camera that you used for your first photo ever <laughs> uh, my first camera was a nikon d3200 mm -hmm. it's one of the best cameras still mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. yes and I was quite, I was very new to photography mm -hmm. and I remember going to the roadside mm -hmm. where they sell flowers and I was like, can I shoot this? Mm -hmm. And the girl was like, ya nini, unenda kufanya nini? Mm -hmm. And then there was this other crazy one was, mm -hmm. who was saying, lazimo tulipe for that image. Na sayo wada sijui, nenda tuku practice. But iyo ndo ilikuwa experience yangu ya first kushoot flowers, ngong road. Yeah, lafu tuka tukaendelea tukaendelea mhm tukakuwa na mentors na decide kwa hapa because i've seen you've like you've said flowers and you like objects and items because i can see a cup of coffee <laughs> is it coffee or strong tea <laughs> whose work inspires you most that you like this retro vibes where did you like the retro vibes the the lines or what have you whose work is it that you watched and you're like i like this vibe because I can see some old school vibes even with this. What is this? Is this strong tea and lemon? <laughs> That's coffee. Ile, ile. And lemon. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Joanna Nawatu. <laughs> uh -huh. Yup. Yon ile kahawa une kandimu. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. Yes. All right. No, no, no. I was asking about who inspires the kind of oh. shots that you developed interest in. There are two photographers in Kenya. Uh huh. There's Mutua Madeka, uh -huh. who always has this retro vibe mm -hmm. to his images mm -hmm. and then there's the one and only wanzala mm -hmm. wanzala is a beast in framing good lord mm -hmm. and his images are very sharp and nice mm -hmm. and yeah those are the two photographers who inspire me a lot mm -hmm. and there's also an artist mm -hmm. i'm not sure if i'll pronounce the words right but mm -hmm. basquat basquat yes mm -hmm. that one 
Mm -hmm. Yes, he also inspires me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. We'd like to understand, uh, now that you decided to, to pursue it professionally as much as it's a side hustle, what measures have you put in place to make sure that your brand is visible? Well, I try online marketing, mm -hmm. create a following on Instagram, mm -hmm. advertise through your IG stories, mm -hmm. maybe on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and basically, the first step is usually you do free shoots so mm -hmm. that you create a brand. Mm -hmm. And then you start now charging. Also, you do free shoots so that you can create a brand for your platform. Yes. And then now you start charging. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how, because now you've grown, I've seen you have almost 10,000 followers uh, on Instagram. We'd like to understand, how do you keep your clients coming back? Do you have any rule book by which you live by to make sure that your customers are always coming back? Well, you are, you are as good as your last job. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. deliver on the last job, the mm -hmm. client will always be happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of, and also, uh -huh. we also need to remember that clients are humans just like us. Okay, mm -hmm. story, kafiti, watengi box yaku. Even though it's a good job. <laughs> so kuna ingiza watu box. Lazima, industry ni kubwa. I see. Uh -huh. Photographers ni wengi sana Kenya. Uh -huh. e, na wale wame make it, uh -huh. pia wako juu sana. So kabla tufike uko, uh -huh. e, lazima, lazima to be di. Okay, okay. There's a, there's a very interesting question that I found somewhere. And it's, any, is there any particular gadget that you wish you hadn't bought? Like amongst all the tools that you have in studio that help you do your work. And maybe it was something that was very expensive, but it's very useless to you right now. Is there any tool that you bought that is, you wish you hadn't? Uh, we are not allowed to mention brands. <laughs> right. No, don't mention the brand, just mention the product. Um, it was something I thought was a drone. Mm -hmm. Yes, that explains it. A drone. <laughs> it was something I thought was a drone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what was it now that you thought it was a drone? <laughs> what exactly was it? <laughs> mm -hmm. It was some gadget some con man had made mm -hmm. to con people mm -hmm. who are very stupid. All right, I'm very sorry for that particular experience. Now, before there's an image that we'd like to talk about, but before we do that, we'd like to understand what are some of the challenges that you have faced in the process of forming all your other side hustles to the point that they've gotten to right now? Mm, number one is balancing between my current employment and the yes. side hustle. Yes. It's quite tricky because most of the time, mm -hmm. You know, especially being a video editor, mm -hmm. you either work late mm -hmm. or you work extremely late. Mm -hmm. Just comes with the job. Mm -hmm. So at times you we work until weekends. At mm -hmm. times during mm -hmm. the weekends, mm -hmm. you can't go to Gikomba. You can't get your nini clothes to sell. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes you have to cancel mm -hmm. jobs you had planned for mm -hmm. during the weekend because your employer needs you at the, at mm -hmm. the workspace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is one. The other thing is gadgets and equipment. Equipment are expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are still like for me. I'm, I'm not that old. I'm still trying to to be great. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's the goal to be great. Mm -hmm. So we have to work mm -hmm. eight to five, mm -hmm. get at least some good money mm -hmm. for rent mm -hmm. and for other stuff, and mm -hmm. also to finance our side hustle. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, that's very interesting. Uh, we want to talk about your artwork. Just uh, just briefly, we'd like to understand. Um, let's see what. Let's see some of the inspirations that we have there. Yes, yes. So, what's the story behind this? I can see some letters over there. What's the story behind this image? What was going through your mind? This B mm -hmm. U, U uh -huh. T full. Mm -hmm. So B U and you're ah, beautiful. Ah, beautiful. Uh huh. Then there's that photo of some guy wearing a helmet. He looks like he was in the army. Uh -huh. There's a picture that looks like some dollar. Uh -huh. So the thing is, you know, when you're painting, mm -hmm. you have these million ideas on your head. So you're like, let me try this. If this works, that's it. Mm -hmm. And usually when I'm painting, mm -hmm. there's this urge to write something like how I'm feeling, maybe some script from some movie or any tagline. So that's what you're seeing on the side. So you like to integrate your work with a bit of calligraphy and, and messages, with messages actually written in sentences and what have you. Mm -hmm. Can we have a look at another image over there? All right. Ooh. Goodness gracious me. I can see so much happening in this image. <laughs> <laughs> so if I start seeing my own things, can you explain to me what's happening here? Um, actually, that's a city. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're Goshaki. <laughs> 
Hey. Yogoshaki, yes, that's what I named it. Ogoshaki. Yogo, Yogoshaki. Yo Yogoshaki. Doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. It's just Yogoshaki because it looks Chinese. Why the interesting sorry. painting as a video editor? Very strange. Why the interesting painting? I mean, I'm not just, I don't want people to know me as an editor. Mm -hmm. I find it very hard to call myself a creative mm -hmm. because it's overrated. Mm -hmm. Yet I feel if I call myself an artist, so mm -hmm. people, if, if let's say a crowd calls me an artist, mm -hmm. I feel like it's too deep, mm -hmm. it's so strong. Mm -hmm. And that's where I want to be. So it's I'm deeper than just editor. Yes, it's deeper than that. So I'm torn there. All right. I wanted to ask you, uh, where you're doing, where, what you're doing is, um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's another image there. Goodness, now I can see some African faces and masks. Hiya, yeah, tell us about this one. Um, there's a lady, there are faces. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that looks like Al-Shabaab. What's that face there at the corner? Kabisa, uko right, right next to the logo. Oh, that's a kazombie, a kazombie. A zombie? Yeah. <laughs> this is a that's a kazombie. Are these things that you dream about? No, 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 I don't dream about it. <laughs> Not uh -huh. at all. It just, it just happens. You get all these ideas mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're painting, you can see something and say, ah, how would this look? And then you implement. How does it take you to complete this like now for the, how many how long does it take you to complete this one particular image because i can see use of so many colors um if it's like this one i usually two days mm -hmm. the first one is you either use a spray can uh -huh. on paper just so that it looks a bit greenish or whitish uh -huh. and then you leave it to dry for like 30 minutes mm -hmm. then you apply the then you start painting. Mm -hmm. So you paint the background first and then mm -hmm. you let it dry. Mm -hmm. Then the other day you do the final touches. So a day mm -hmm. or two. A day or two? Yes. Hey, and do you sell them? That's the goal. I want to start selling them. Mm -hmm. This is my first year, mm -hmm. actually second one doing oh. painting. Also, oh, this is a baby business. Yeah. It's one that you're trying to grow on the side as well. Mm -hmm. All right, I'd like to understand uh, where you work and, uh, and now that you've produced this film, uh, 254 Dandy, you've edited it. Is there any conflict of interest with the employer considering you're still doing the same work for them? Not at all. I mean, as long as you deliver, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Just deliver my work, go do your own things on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Because Saturday is a working hour. Mm -hmm. It's a working day, sorry. Mm -hmm. So for you, Saturday is a working day. So when do you take a break? And have you ever taken a break? Let's yes, break. yes uh -huh. breaks, breaks are good. Mm -hmm. They help you relax. All right. Let me understand. Uh, for how long have you been in this particular uh, arts industry? Now that it's so broad. How long? Two years. Two years. And where do you see yourself in the next three? I see. Good. Next three. Mm. Um, I think I'll, I'll be a great artist. Mm -hmm. I see myself as a very great artist. Mm -hmm. And also producing films whereby I've merged all these things, fashion, mm -hmm. photography, mm -hmm. and also art together. Mm -hmm. Like there was this program, I don't know if you guys watched it while you were growing up, mm -hmm. Art Scene. Yes, I'd yes. like to produce more shows like that. Mm -hmm. That's in the next three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, because I've seen you, everything is mixed with everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've borrowed a little bit of everything from everything to make each particular business stand out on its own. What has been the highlight of your career? Well, that, I don't know. I usually, at the, where I'm currently working, mm -hmm. at Genesis, mm -hmm. we do a lot of corporate shoots. Mm -hmm. And... Usually the best part of this is I get to interact with the MDs, the mm -hmm. big guys, mm -hmm. and then they get to advise me. And once they like the photo, they're like, you, I'll call you for this job. Mm -hmm. If they are serious, you go shoot their, let's say, their kids. And oh, so you're even using you. your current employment to network and also build a base for your other jobs. Interesting. Yeah. All right, all right. So by the time we conclude this segment. So I'd like to understand from, from somebody at home who is juggling in between uh, interests and hobbies and whatever you've actually managed to turn your hobbies into a side hustle what uh, what words of advice let me put it like that do you have for them I mean you can only be true to yourself mm -hmm. and the problem is growing up our parents were brainwashed to think I'm colonial idea mm. so mm -hmm. 
like honestly miss j physics it inside up hata mimi but anyway it's just my mind so ni <laughs> ni kwa true true to who you are uh-huh. kama unapenda kuchora mm-hmm. eh, fanya tuendelea kuchora wezi jua mm-hmm. breaks with akujali kai ni msanii imba mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. si tumefika point yenye haijali issue mzazi anataka nini mm-hmm. ni wewe unataka nini because at the end of the day mm-hmm. goal ni kuwa very comfortable with who you are mm-hmm. and us for she vo taumia mm-hmm. so ni fanya kitu yenye una feel unapenda mhm and at, kwa hiyo process utafute pesa pia utafute pesa mm-hmm. si siku si kucheza tu hapa hivi na ma hobbies ah lazima ulipelent <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much Jibes and Yamu for coming to studio today. You're watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Don't go anywhere. Barry Moses is coming through with a bit more from the film industry. <laughs>